Plans for the largest EV production hub in Europe are afoot, with Renault planning to reorganize three existing factories into one giant EV production hub in the north of France. Dubbed the Renault Electricity, the hub will be composed of Douai, Mabiuge and Ruitz plants, with work underway for all three to focus on electric vehicles in the coming years. Load Error the automaker, best known in the EV world for its popular Zoe hatch in production since 2012, aims to produce 400,000 EVs a year at the electricity by 2025 employing 5,000 workers, 700 of whom will be new hires and are scheduled to come on board between 2022 and 2024. The Lamborghini Super Trofeo Racing Series will have a new look with a new car in 2022, as the company today unveiled the look of its new racing Huracan Super Trofeo EV02. According to Lamborghini, since 2009, 950 drivers have raced in the Lamborghini Super Trofeo, competing in more than 310 hours at the most prestigious tracks in the world. At the forefront of the single-make series is then Huracan, which officials say can contribute to much of its commercial success of the high-performance car. The Huracan is one of the biggest bestsellers in the history of the brand, and the Super Trofeo has additionally helped to increase its success, said Stefan Winkelmann, president and CEO of Automobili Lamborghini added Maurizio Reggiani, chief technical officer of Automobili Lamborghini. The Super Trofeo is the best testing ground for technical and aerodynamic solutions for both road cars and GTs, and with the Huracan Super Trofeo EV02 we have definitely taken another step forward. In April 2021, we celebrated the milestone of the 400th Huracan racing car, and our goal with the Super Trofeo EV02 is to reach 500 in just a few years. In April 2021, Lamborghini celebrated its 400th Huracan racing car, and the goal with the Super Trofeo EV02 is to reach 500 in just a few years. Innovations are also seen in numerous components of the bodywork, such as the side member paneling and the rear aerodynamic appendages, replacing plastic materials with carbon fiber. The front end features full LED light clusters with a hexagonal design and a pronounced lip that joins the carbon fiber fins and reinforces the link with the Huracan STO. The rear, dominated by the large carbon fiber wing, was inspired by minimalism and lightness. Mitja Borkert, Lamborghini head of design, says, When we approached the Huracan Super Trofeo EV02 project, we immediately thought of the concept off racing in style. That is, a combination of the typical aggressiveness of the Huracan racing cars and the classic stylistic features of Lamborghini's DNA. In addition, the Huracan Super Trofeo EV02 represents a futuristic aesthetic approach that partially anticipates the design elements of the next range of road cars. The rear fenders are composed of a single element, which includes part of the side spoiler, for optimal surface continuity. The Hautes de France region has the necessary assets to become the European reference in terms of know-how and production throughout the electric car value chain, the automaker says. In conjunction with its R&D functions, Renault Group will form partnerships with universities to set up training schemes adapted to the changing automotive market and will contribute to research work. Thank you.